In this video, we're going to introduce what is the Rockham platform. Historically, Rockham stands for the Radeon Open Compute Platform. However, this full name is only used in early releases. Now, Rockham is not an acronym anymore, and it is just the name of the platform. The target of Rockham is to support extreme scale computing. It is intended to support computing with tens to hundreds of GPUs, GPUs in a supercomputer, or even distributed computing that connects computers all over the world. With Rockham, we can combine those computers and GPUs to work on a single application. Rockham also supports an open ecosystem. Most of the software that is in the Rockham ecosystem is open sourced. With all the software provided by Rockham, we enjoy full-stack support for AMD GPUs from the driver, runtime library, and software developing tools. Here, we list the main components of the Rockham ecosystem. You can see that the Rockham ecosystem covers many layers in the technological stack. At the bottom, we have processors which includes both CPUs and GPUs. Yes, we can run Rockham programs on both CPUs and GPUs. One layer above the processor layer, we have the runtime and the driver layer. There are a lot of things that we can talk about in this layer. We have HSA runtime, the trunk interface, and the device drivers. The device driver is provided by AMD and is considered part of the operating system. The driver can control the hardware to perform required tasks. Currently, Rockham driver only supports the Linux operating system as Linux is widely used on high-performance computing devices. The trunk interface is a thin layer between the driver and the runtime. It exposes the driver functions and it provides an easily callable interface to the runtime libraries. The component that directly connects to the trunk interface is the HSA runtime. HSA Runtime is a low-level runtime API and implementation that enables close control of devices. It follows the heterogeneous system architecture standard, so it may be able to support devices from other vendors. Above the runtime and driver layer, we have the layer that provides different type of program models, such as OpenCL and HIP. Each program models have its own runtime libraries implementation, but all these runtime implementations are based on HSA runtime. They invoke the APIs provided by the HSA runtime. So you can see that the HSA runtime is very general, flexible, and versatile. Rockham currently supports OpenMP, HIP, and OpenCL. We mainly cover HIP in this course. Above the program model level, we have libraries such as Random Number Generator, Faster Forward Transform, Linear Algebra, BLAST, and Sparse Linear Algebra libraries. We also have MOPEN, which implements the layers in deep neural networks. Above the library level, we have tools such as a debugger, a profiler, and system management tools. It is hard to say that the two layer is above the library layer, as they both communicate with the program models. They should be in the same layer on the stack, but we have limited width on this slide, therefore we just stack them up. Next, above the two layer and the library layer, we have the cluster deployment layer. For extreme scale computing use cases, we often want to run or program on a cluster that we share with other users. We have to manage our environment and jobs. We also have Slurm that can manage resources and jobs so that all the users can fairly share the computing devices. We also have Singularity and Docker as container tools, as well as Kubernetes as container management tools. Finally, at the top, Rockham supports many HPC applications and machine learning frameworks. For HPC applications, if you want to simulate protein folding or molecule structures, there are readily available applications that you can run on Rockham platforms. The deep learning, both TensorFlow and PyTorch, supports the Rockham platform. Later on, we will demonstrate how to use these frameworks. Overall, we can see that Rockham provides a large number of software tools that cover the whole technology stack. The tools allow users to perform a wide range of tasks on AMD GPUs. In terms of GPU support, the Rockham platform supports a list of cards. 
Most of them are high-end and computer-oriented GPUs. As of Rockham 5.2, which is the most recent release, Rockham supports GFX9 GPUs, including the AMD Radeon Instinct MI50, MI60, and the Pro 7 GPU. For RDNA GPUs, Rockham supports W6800 and the V620 GPUs. Rockham also supports CDN GPUs, including MI100, MI210, and MI250 GPUs. This tutorial will mainly be based on MI50, MI100, and the W6800. There are some other older GPUs like GFX A series GPUs, such as the Fury Nano and RX480. You can still run Rockham on those GPUs. However, they are not officially supported, so you can probably run the program there and get correct result, but the performance may not be ideal.